Hey patrol members. Just a quick little rant and update video. You know, it's not a Mojave Patrol video unless I have something to complain about. But this isn't one of them. This is a Black Rifle Coffee. Ooh, that's hot and it's good. Black Rifle Coffee Company. I got this at Bass Pro, uh, Pro Shop. It's a light roast. Whew, it's pretty good. It's uh, about 11.20. It's my first cup of the day. I've been pretty busy this morning. <sighs> Doing stuff around the house. Well, my buddy and I, Kurt, we drove up to uh, Kern County, Bakersfield, to go to the uh, Crossroads of the West gun show, which was um, the big one according to their website and um, wasn't any bigger uh, than the Ontario uh, gun show which, they, which is down here in Southern California at the Ontario Convention Center and the reason they're looking for new venues, this is the first time Crossroads has had a uh, gun show up in Kern, is because um, no more gun show at the uh, fairgrounds down there in Orange County. Yeah, the uh, Costa Mesa people decided that in the interest of public safety, they weren't going to have any more gun shows. is a gift. Cigar holders. Perfect. Have to get a good seal. On your cigar. Guevara, 1928. Thank you. You know who you are. In case you're wondering, um, this is a match safe. I think it's from the Great War. It says U.S. Army, greetings, Camp Sherman. It's uh, barely... Um, Barely visible here on the leather. Has your striking surface and a little cigar cutter right here in the base. I have to look up Camp Sherman.
Anyway. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, um, in, the, in the name of public safety, the um, powers that be in Orange County have decided there's, uh, uh, because of public safety, yes, the powers that be in Orange County have decided there's no more gun show at the uh, fairgrounds in Costa Mesa. Even though, according to the California Department of Justice and the FBI's own investigations, no firearms sold at uh, any gun show <clears throat> in California history have been linked to a crime. Trust me, when you go to the gun show, if you even look a little sketchy, no one is selling to you. And I've seen it happen personally. I did once see someone try to steal a firearm at a gun show. Uh, my friend, uh, my, uh, my late friend Wally and I were at a gun show in the L.A. County Fairgrounds. Um, And um, we were standing in building four, which is the long building, and we heard someone yell, he stole a gun. And when I looked up, there was a, a young guy in a t-shirt and black Levi's booking for the door, and I think he got about me to you far before he went down under an avalanche of uh, other people. So... Uh, yeah, that's how that works. But anyway, I don't want to get political. I don't want to get into a bunch of uh, political rants and stuff like that. That's not why I'm here today. i got other things to rant about. So anyway, we went up to Costa... We went up to Costa Mesa. We went up to uh, Kern County, up to Bakersfield. <clears throat> and my daughter warned me. She warned me. Dad, don't stay any place west of the freeway of the 99. Here's what Bill hears. Dad, don't say stay anywhere east of the 99. I swear to God, that's what I thought you said. So I got on Booking.com. I'm not really blaming Booking.com. They can't check every hotel. But they're aware of what happened now. Went to Booking.com, looked for an inexpensive room, and when I mean inexpensive, was anything under a couple of hundred dollars. Because of the gun show, a lot of the hotels were booked, so uh, a lot of hotels where you can get a room for like 80 bucks a night, you know, two people, two beds, one room, 89 bucks, they were $200 and up. But anyway, I found a room for $92, two people, one night. Two beds. Oh my God. I'm sorry to interrupt. The most magnificent raptor bird has landed on the chimney right next to my house. My neighbor's house. Hang on. I think it's a red tailed hawk. Wow. Wow. What a beautiful animal. Truly beautiful. Anyway. So Bill booked a room at the Vagabond Inn on the west side of the 99. Community located near the Denny's. Jack in a box and tractor supply. Oh, and a Starbucks. How bad can it be? Well, let me tell you. We get up there early in the morning. We left here about 6. We got all the way up, uh, up there about uh, 8.30. We parked the car. We stood in line. We went in the gun show. 
walked around the whole two buildings twice and then around four or five o'clock we thought well we're done here for today let's uh, grab a bite check in at the hotel room so we got in the car decide we're going to go right to the hotel room check in throw our luggage in there and then we'll go out and look for dinner The word tenement doesn't do it justice. I'll poke a little video in around here. Buttons are all pulled off the phone. Mm. Only the best. And our big screen TV. Oh, I think I have a bigger one in my bedroom. Yeah. I have a bigger one on the dashboard of my other car. We went to the lobby, which was behind uh, plexiglass, which I'm sure is a COVID thing, because they didn't even make an attempt to make it bullet resistant. <clears throat> and we checked in, and they sent us around to the far back of the hotel, closest to the freeway on the ground floor. I should have uh, known something is up when the only parking space available, we close to the room, we parked close to the room, and the uh, formerly silver automobile on my right, which had um, uh, duct tape repaired windows, uh, uh, two different colored fenders, and a different colored door, there was a smell of uh, marijuana coming out of the car, and the guy was in there having a shouting match with his wife, girlfriend, companion, who knows what. We checked into our room that had no carpet on the floor. It was uh, some kind of uh, tile. The entire room. The controls to the heater were broken. Actually smashed. All the buttons on the phone next to the bed had been pulled out and even though the phone was plugged on the wall there was no dial tone. My buddy Kurt went in to use the bathroom and the toilet wouldn't flush because the whole mechanism for the flapper was uh, parts of it were missing some of them were bent. You get, this has to be deliberate destruction. There was a microwave that didn't work. At least I don't think it worked. A little mini fridge. A TV. About this big. On the wall. And. Um, the little table between the two beds. On the wall. Behind the table. Was covered with. What looked to me like blood. So I was laying on the bed, Kurt was uh, trying to fix the toilet, and we said, you know what, let's just go get something to eat. So we looked on the phone, we found a, ch uh, we found a Chili's nearby, but on the way out, <clears throat> I stopped and went to the lobby and I said, look. Can we get a different room, please? What's wrong with your room? And I just listed the entire uh, litany of things I, I just told you about. And she just looked at me. I'm really sorry. Did you touch anything? I said, look, we used one towel and we pulled back the bed covers. But the room is totally unacceptable. It is barely habitable by humans. So she gave us another room, which I will admit was a better room, even though most of the buttons on the phone had been pulled out. The phone did work. Um, this was a kitchen had a kitchenette with an electric stove, 
and a range hood and a bigger fridge. The toilet worked. The floor was still cold tile. But the fire extinguisher bracket next to the phone, I mean phone, next to the stove, but consisted of no fire extinguisher. Which I'm sure there's a rule. There has to be one there, but there wasn't one there. So, moved our luggage into this room, went out to Chili's, had a really good meal at Chili's. I had a burger, um, really yummy. Kurt had a coupon for free chips and salsa. We got that. Oh, and guacamole. Really tasty. Went back to the room. That heater still wouldn't turn on or off. You, you push the power button, nothing would happen. But fortunately, it wasn't very um, cold. And, you know, the blankets were adequate. The freeway was allowed. The freeway was a stone's throw from the room. The walls are paper thin, so every little noise outside you heard in the room. Uh, we stopped and bought ice at Winco to make some whiskey sours because the ice machine cost a quarter and uh, it looked iffy, so we didn't use it. So anyway, went to the gun show, drove all the way home, and I left the most scathing review on Booking.com about that hotel I've ever left for any place, anywhere. Now, I did write that the staffing at the hotel was excellent. The people listened. They were attentive. They did what we asked. Um, there were no arguments. They were very pleasant people to talk to. Um, their employees there, they don't own the hotel. I'm not blaming any of the staffing or the cleaning people because uh, the second room was clean and the inside smelled like bleach. I'm not blaming them for anything. They don't own the place. The owners of the place are responsible for the conditions in the room that have not been handled. So, if you're traveling to Bakersfield, avoid the Vagabond End west of the 99 just a few minutes from the fairgrounds what a dump what a dump now the trip coming down and the trip going up was beautiful the weather was nice it was clear sunny not hot um, like I said we ate a chilies oh Chili's and Bakersfield, which was east of the freeway. Uh, very, very good. Very, very good. And I can recommend a place called Toasted, which is not too far from the Chili's. And it's kind of a local breakfast place. The food was excellent. Excellent. Had, uh, uh, for a reasonable price, had a big pancake and uh, bacon and egg breakfast. And um, had a great time. Had a great time. Waitresses were really good. Actually, the owner of the place waited on us because uh, uh, one of their staff members was late uh, getting in. But hey, everything came in a timely manner and it was good. Coffee was good. It was uh, worth every penny. Well, this rant video was running kind of long. The other update is I took the radiator for the Packard into the shop. It's getting worked on as we speak. Should be ready tomorrow. Um, it is going to be a little pricey. They're saying about $500. And mainly because the price of brass and copper has become insanely high now. Um, so, and there's a shortage for everything. And I'm trying to find a place to rebuild my water pump. Not that it's bad, it was working, but I'm going to have the alternator re or the generator rebuilt, the starter rebuilt, the master cylinder rebuilt, the fuel pump rebuilt, 
having a water pump rebuilt. I mean the uh, radiator rebuilt. I also have the water pump rebuilt, right? But anyway, this is running long, and a lot of people don't like really long uh, videos, especially when it's just a rant. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, it's going to run a little longer. So a lot of you know I'm retired from the Walt Disney Company. I worked at Disneyland and RTMP. I uh, was uh, I trained there. I drove the tram. I drove the Mickey van. I worked guest control. You name it, I did it in that department. And uh, anyway, I retired from Disneyland. So when you retire from Disneyland, you get to keep your ID. Um, <clears throat> you still get to sign in people, though not as many, um, unless you've got a long retirement. Uh, unless you've been there a long time. I was at the minimum retirement. You get a, there's a retiree hub and the whole nine yards. So, so, because of COVID, at 10 years, you're supposed to get a party. Now, it's not just you. It's everybody in the 10 to 15 year range, right? You get a party at California Adventure, right? Well, because of COVID, that was canceled. Now, to be honest, I have been unable to get into the retiree hub. Every time I would go in and change my password, the next time I would go to the hub, my password wouldn't work. So I just shined it. Well, I got my invitation to my party. You have to RSVP, and I couldn't get in. So, two days ago, you know, Marlene and I were traveling, so I didn't really get this invitation until I got back. Two days ago, I was on the phone with Disney um, in Florida, talking to their personnel services. We got me into the hub, and it didn't work again. And my problem was I was running into was I was running out of time to respond to my... Uh, RSVP. It has to be responded to by tomorrow or the 25th of uh, February. I called again this morning and a very pleasant young lady named Michelle worked with me for over two hours getting me into the retiree hub the correct way apparently. So now every time I sign on, I'm in. I can access all the little tabs. I'm in. And she gave me an email where I can send my RSVP, and she, she outlined what I needed to say, and while she was on the phone with me, I got on my tablet and sent an email to um, Celebration Services, or Service Celebrations, and they already responded telling me they got my email, so we're all dialed in for the 25th of March, 23rd of March, California Adventure. I can't wait to go. I cannot wait to go. Um, but I really would like to thank Michelle in uh, Disney World, Florida, um, Personnel Services. She helped me a lot. She was very pleasant. She knew exactly what she was doing. And um, that's that. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching this long rant. And um, thank you, video. And... Um, don't forget to click like and su uh, subscribe. I'm going to be back on the Packard as soon as I get my parts in. I'm, right now, I'm, I'm waiting on parts. I can't do anything. Let's have parts. You guys saw it run? Um, so once I get a few more parts in, hopefully we'll be driving it uh, April. I want to see you driving down the street in April. Thanks very much, guys. Ciao for now. In television and electronics, the name Dumont is your hallmark of quality and distinction. Dumont, first with the finest in television.